Hey, sweetheart, I'm about to head out. Can I borrow one of... Hey, what's going on? How come you're still in your pajamas? I thought you'd have taken a shower already. Wait, are you okay? You don't look so good. You don't look fine. Your forehead is sweating and your eyes are all red. I didn't really notice when I got out of bed since I was kind of groggy myself, but... Did you have any trouble getting to sleep last night? No. Okay, well, you look shattered. Are you sure you're okay? Could you... Could you be sick? How'd you feel? <sighs> Not so good. Here, let me come over and feel your forehead for a second. Just hold still. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. You're sick. There is no doubt about it. Your forehead feels like a bloody furnace, and you're sweating so much. And on top of that, it's super warm. My palm was only on it for a second, and it's already drenched. Here, let me wipe it off for you. Hey? No, no, no. Shh, shh, shh. shh. Don't apologise, baby. I didn't mean it like that. It's not your fault at all. You can't control if you're sick or not. I'm just worried about you. Yeah, look at your eyes. They're all red-rimmed and your nose is red too. You keep sniffling. Is your nose all stuffed up? And how does your throat feel? Really sore? Jesus, you must feel awful. I'm so sorry I didn't realise. I was so focused on my morning routine and all, I just assumed you were getting ready in our bedroom. Here, let me get you some... Late? Late for what? Work? Oh, I'm not going into work when you're like this. I'm texting them to let them know I'm taking this as a personal day. Let me just get my phone. No, you're not fine. I'm not leaving you here alone when you're like this. I don't care about work. They can afford one day without me. You need me more right now. No, no. Don't even try and talk me out of it. I am set in this, okay? I'm writing the text, and there. It's done. Now, forget about it. Seriously. Okay, what do you need? I told you. Don't apologise, sweetheart. You didn't do anything wrong. You just have to stay in bed, and I'll take care of the rest. Here. Those pillows are all over the place. You must have been tossing and turning a lot last night. Let me fix them for you. If you wouldn't mind lifting your head up a sec. There. Is that better? <laughs> Good. And, uh, let me fix the covers too. Make sure they're nice and snug. Here. Does that feel good? Do you feel comfortable? Or do you need them tighter? Maybe if I just... <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Don't get up. I can do it for you. Just relax. No, really, it's fine, baby. Just let me... Hey, hey, are you okay? What's with that look? That look. You're avoiding my eyes and you look worried about something all of a sudden. Is something wrong? Are you upset? No, no, I keep telling you. You don't need to apologize. The only thing you need to apologize for is apologizing so much for no reason. <laughs> it's okay. Just... Let me know what's wrong. I want to know. Is there something you need? Oh, honey. I know that. I know you can do it yourself. Of course you can. I've seen you do so many unbelievable things in this time that we've been together. Of course you can rearrange a couple pillows by yourself. <laughs> I'm just 
fussing over you because I know you're not feeling your best right now, and I want to help you get back to feeling good. That's all. It's not because I think less of you or anything stupid like that. Is that... Is that why you look a little... embarrassed? Aww. Hey. Hey. Look at me, baby. Please, just look up at me. You don't need to be self-conscious about accepting my help, okay? I don't think any less of you for needing a little extra help once in a while. You know that, right? Aww. Sweetheart, you are the furthest possible thing from a burden. You're my everything, and I want to take care of you. Don't ever forget that. Here. I think you just need a little reminder. Mind if I give you a kiss on the forehead? I don't mind if it's still a little sway. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, I know you've got this covered, so let's divide and conquer. You finish getting comfy in bed, and in the meantime, I'll go get your cold medicine. Oh, and some soup. Would you like some soup? <laughs> okay, sounds like a plan. I'll just be a minute, and if you need anything else, just holler. I'll be right in the kitchen. I'm back! And I bring gifts. <laughs> it's chicken noodle with a little extra pinch of salt like I know you like. I think you can't go wrong with the classics, right? Let me just set it down here on the bedside table. Oh, and here's your medicine. Should probably have given that to you first, but it's fine. Let me just uncap it and pour it out. There. Yeah, the instructors on the side say... One cup is enough, and if symptoms persist, we can try another in a couple of hours. Ready? Um, no. I don't think so. Let me just read the label again. Yeah, it's like the generic brand. Why? Is there something wrong with it? It doesn't taste good? Oh, I'm sorry, honeybee. But I don't think we have any other medicine. I didn't know it tasted bad. We won't buy it again, but I need you to just drink this for me this time, okay? Tell you what, I'll even give you something sweet to wash it down with, okay? Okay, deal. <laughs> Here you go. Good job. And now for your dessert. Mmm, peppermint flavour. This medicine isn't half bad, actually. I don't... Oh, wait. There's the aftertaste. Ugh. Okay, never mind. You were definitely right. This is god-awful. <laughs> but hopefully that kiss at least made up for it a little. Aww, you're so sweet. Even when you do sound all stuffy. Now, let's get you your soup. This should help with the sore throat. You need something nice and hot right now. Just sit up for me, okay? I want to make sure you don't spill it. Here's your spoon. Good. Does it make your throat feel a tiny bit better? I'm glad. You can have as much as we want. We have more in the kitchen if you finish it. Oh, and one more thing. What do you mean, what am I doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm getting in next to you. I can't just let you hog that big comfy bed to yourself all day, can I? <laughs> but seriously, I'm here for you. I don't want you to be alone right now, so if you need some time in bed to recover, then I'll just have to lie here next to you and keep you company. What if I get sick? Well... Then I guess you'll just have to take care of me tomorrow. And fair warning, I'm going to need more than just one kiss to deal with that taste of the medicine. <laughs> You're sweet, but don't worry about me. I'm fine, I promise you. Just 
relax, and focus on feeling better, okay? That's the one thing you can do for me. Here, let me just put my arm around you. Mm-hmm, like that. Snuggle in close. Come on, don't be shy. Do you like that? You know, I took a couple pre-med courses in college. Did I ever tell you that? True story. And you know what the number one little-known treatment for fever is? Doctors hate this trick. It's called... Cuddles! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Let me hold you. Let me wrap my arms around you. I know you might not be feeling all that strong, but it's okay. How do the heavy lifting today? Mm-hmm. Cuddling you is so much fun. I could honestly do this all day. Maybe I will. <laughs> I love you too, baby. I love you so, so much. Thank you for letting me take care of you today. So, besides soup and cuddles, is there anything else you want to do today? <laughs> Your choice. Totally up to you. We could catch up on our favourite shows. I hear the new episode of 